we're going to be comparing a bunch of really unique ergonomic guitars that specifically help us achieve the golden angle of 45 degrees-ish. I'm saying 45 degrees-ish because discussing ergonomics isn't as simple as measuring a scale length or even a nut width. Even its definition, ergonomics is the study of people's efficiency in their working environments, is by its very nature variable. Sure, we can reduce the working environment to playing guitar, but there's still plenty of different contexts, humans are all shaped differently, and on top of that, the word efficiency represents a spectrum rather than a perfectly quantifiable condition of existence. So today we'll focus on two contexts with these five guitars. The first context is what I would call the ideal seated situation. For this, I'll be using this chair that was designed for musicians, but the same information will apply to most chairs and stools as long as they don't have armrests, of course. And the second context, believe it or not, is equally important, playing in a casual setting. I know a lot of you like to noodle on your couch while watching YouTube, and I'll have some tips for getting the most out of that time as well. But for the purposes of this detailed, strenuous testing, I've been using the Tuscany Ultimate Luxury Recliners sent to me by Valencia Theater Seating. They must have thought, that guy lives in a tiny basement with broken floors and buys two, three, and four thousand dollar ergonomic guitars. He would probably enjoy a beautiful premium leather recliner with a customizable headrest and lumbar that allows you to be posture focused even while relaxing. And they were right. On to the testing. So this is the Steinberger ZT3, and at first glance, it just looks like a regular Strat style guitar, but without the headstock. You place it on your lap and it sits just like any other guitar would. However, the ZT3 has a really cool trick right here, a little flip out stand. And then when you place it on your lap, the neck angle is changed dramatically. Now, I think this is a really, really smart design. I have heard from a few people that these can break, but so far mine has held up fine. And again, it does improve that neck angle for a lot of people. Me personally, remember, ergonomics are very individual. This is better, but I like my neck a little bit higher. So it's not perfect for me, but it is still really, really good and a huge improvement. Now, every time I talk about the 45 degree ish neck angle someone in the comments says that you should just stand up and play and yes standing does solve the neck angle problem and i do mix standing and sitting every day while i practice it's just a good habit to get into but although it doesn't necessarily show my guitar playing i do spend many many hours every single day practicing and even if you can deadlift over 400 pounds if you stand with a guitar for several hours every day suspended from your body you're definitely going to feel it somewhere that you wouldn't like to feel it. So the funny thing about the ZT3 is that although it's not my favorite guitar for Context 1, again, it's great for Context 1, but it's not my favorite, it is one of my favorite guitars for Context 2. Now, we were talking about the importance of this little flip-out rest before. You'll notice that if I just have the guitar on my lap like usual, it obviously doesn't fit here as a couch guitar. But once I open the flap up, it kind of hits the perfect angle, and oddly enough, the sides of these armrests on the chair allow my arm to kind of just sit there comfortably and I can just noodle away. Or if I want to hear myself, I can of course just reach into here and grab one of these mini amps, but there's so much space in here, I can actually grab a different amp or I guess I can just watch a concert DVD. And before some of you say that you shouldn't be practicing on the couch while doing other things, for now, I'll just say, if God himself, Josh Middleton, of course, if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. Um, so it, it's really good to do both. And uh, what I always did was practice with an amp, play more scales and stuff, do practice to a metronome. Maybe I'd play some piece that I was working on that my guitar teacher gave me. And then, you know, do my homework or whatever. And then I go sit in front of the TV with my guitar, just playing unplugged. And while we're here, let's talk about the Klein guitar because as you'll see in a second, it's one of my favorite guitars for Context 1, but as you can see in Context 2, it just isn't the right choice. It's actually a little bit too big for this particular type of seating, and on top of that, the headstock is sticking out, so if someone's watching something with you, they won't be able to see it. So the Klein isn't great for Context 2, but in Context 1, the Klein is awesome. As you can see, just having the guitar on your body puts it at 45 degrees. And for me, I prefer the slightly higher angle that the Klein puts me in. Also, it has really nice contouring on the back. It has a nice forearm bevel and so on. It's just for me, one of the most amazing guitars to play seated. 
Now my last Klein video, a lot of people in the comments kept saying that the Klein is just a copy of the Ovation Breadwinner. And I understand why you would think that. When you look at the body of the Klein and the body of the Breadwinner, they look pretty similar. But if you were to actually put both guitars on your right leg, you'll notice that only the Klein improves the seated position on your right leg. The Breadwinner is great when it's placed in between your legs unlike the Klein, which is not great in its position. So it's not that the Klein is better or the Breadwinner is better, one is worse, nothing like that. It's just different guitars for different contexts. If you like the guitar over your right leg, the Klein is superior. If you like the guitar between your legs, the Breadwinner is superior. Ergonomics are very individual. This guitar is the most expensive guitar on the list and the only one that I promise I'm never selling. So for me, the Abasi Concepts ME6 guitar is tied with the Klein guitar in Context 1. As you can see, the neck is, again, around 45 degrees. It's actually a little bit higher than the Klein would be, and I really love this higher position. For one, it allows me to play really big chords because it allows my hands to stretch very easily. It's also great for doing big stretches with legato. And since the guitar is pointed so high, when you get to the higher frets, it's just really easy to access all of those different notes. Something else about this guitar is that, again, it has really great contouring on the back. And I really, really love this extreme forearm bevel, especially on this particular guitar. It's really great for palm muting and chugging and just normal non-metal playing as well. This is just one of my favorite guitars of all time. I know a lot of you think that spending $4,000 specifically on the guitar just to get it more ergonomic is insane. And I honestly can't even say you're wrong. This is insane and I always thought that I would buy it and sell it, but it's so perfect for me that it just can't be sold. And I know a lot of you like to give me your different solutions in the comment section, like using a footstool on the right leg or the left leg or moving the guitar from your right leg to your left leg or in between your legs or using a strap and suspending the guitar while seated. Whatever works for you, that is great. Remember, ergonomics are very individual. But you have to also keep in mind that there's not just one ultimate solution that's going to work great for everyone. And each one of those different solutions has a different issue that I've encountered or that I've seen students encounter. We don't have time today to discuss the pros and cons of each thing, footstool, strap, all of that stuff. I covered it in my course if you're really interested. The unfortunate thing about the ME6 guitar is that just like the Klein, Although it's great in context one, it completely fails context two. By the way guys, if you can't tell, this video was really hard to make and it took a lot of thinking and editing to pull off. I'm really trying to do my part to make guitar YouTube more than just, this is the guitar, this is how it sounds. Everything is perfect, there's no flaws. If you appreciate that, just give the video a like and let me know in the comments below if you actually learned something or if not, that's fine. If you found something funny, I'll take that as well. Just leave a comment of some sort. So similarly to the Klein guitar, although I love the Abasi Concepts ME6, it isn't the best couch guitar. Similar reason, headstock sticking out too far for your partner to see what's going on. And also you just can't really fit it in this area. Now granted, these chairs are actually extra large and although I'm, whoops, see what I mean? So although I'm about six foot tall, 200 pounds, I actually have plenty of space within the chair and the guitar can fit here too as well. So. Plenty large, but not great for this particular guitar. And now we're on to the internet's favorite ergonomic guitar, and that is the Strandberg guitar. As you know, guys, I also love Strandberg guitars. I did an entire series on Strandberg guitars. Just like the Klein guitar and just like the Abati Concepts guitar, it allows you to rest the guitar and get that really nice high neck angle if you wanna use this area right here. You can also use this regular area and hold it like a regular guitar if you'd like. Again, I don't want to spend too much time talking about the Endor neck because I did an entire series on this guitar. I will say that I can switch between the Endor neck and a regular guitar neck at any point and neither feels weird to me. And the Endor neck also taught my hand a few things. So I think it's definitely a great tool and a great guitar. I personally don't think that I need it on every single guitar. And in fact, I prefer guitars that don't have the Endor neck which is one of the reasons why this is not my primary guitar. Now we're talking a lot in this video about different things you can practice in different contexts. When it comes to context one, this is when you should do all of your focused guitar practice, things that take a lot of your attention and patience. For example, if you're trying to work on your fretboard visualization, or if you're trying to work on specific technique switches, you don't wanna be doing that in context two when you're distracted by a television or your partner sitting next to you. And also keep in mind when it comes to your focus practice, 
There's only so much focus practice you can do each day. So it's important to make sure you have a very detailed idea and plan for what you're going to achieve in your guitar playing during that time. You don't want to waste it kind of, you know, fumbling around and picking up your phone and so on and so forth. Save all of that distracted practice for context too. So obviously the Strandberg's body is a lot smaller than some of the other larger ergonomic guitars. And because of that, you can pretty much sit anywhere and still be able to, you know, go the full length of the neck, do all types of different chords and scalar passages, even the high frets. This is pretty much the perfect guitar you can have if you want it to be able to play in pretty much any context. Now, of course, when you're lounging on the couch, you don't want to be practicing things that require a lot of mental effort because if you're, for example, watching TV while practicing, you can easily ingrain a bunch of bad patterns because you're not paying close attention to what you're doing. However, there are a lot of things you can practice while on the couch. For example, if you're trying to work on some new different chord shapes, you can work on just grabbing them, these kind of a quick things like this. Or if you're trying to work on just developing your right hand and your picking technique, you can sit here and just down pick and chuck away while you're watching something on TV. Another good thing you can do is work on certain scale patterns, you know? Things that don't require a lot of attention. The Tau guitar, I think is even better than the Stramberg for sitting on a couch. And that's just because, although the Stramberg is very small and uh, amazing guitar, this is even smaller. So there is literally no body inhibiting your movement whatsoever. And you can place the guitar in pretty much any position you would usually play guitar in. And again, you're not being inhibited by the size of the body. So the ultimate couch guitar is either going to be the Stramberg or the Tau, depending on what your body's like or what you find more comfortable. Now, although the Tau guitar doesn't have a body whatsoever, I still find it very comfortable in context one. I like to use it with the strap, but again, the bottom of the guitar is still resting on my thigh, so I'm not carrying any of the weight. If you're someone who has issues with like a right rotator cuff or anything like that, and you can't have your arm up in this position like you would with a standard guitar, the Tau guitar might be the perfect solution for you in particular. Again, even if you don't have any issues, I still think this is a great guitar for any context. A big thank you to Valencia Theater Seating for sponsoring this video. So one of the cool things about this particular seat is that you can adjust the lumbar and the headrest independently. So you can actually make it a pretty ergonomic seated kind of a situation. And then on top of that, if you like that setting for you, you can save it in the couch, grab your guitar, sit down, watch some television, work on your down picking. You can check out all of their different chairs because they have more than just this one by following the link below. And on top of that, the word efficiency represents- Are you gonna play guitar? No, it's not, no, not yet. Okay, sorry. The Klein guitar. Oh, sorry, are we ready? No, it was already. Okay. Tom, are you actually reading? Yeah, it's interesting.